So a classic car is, there, there's no definition of a classic car. So it can be anything from a 1899 Benz, um, which you know it's only got three wheels and a funny engine in the back, but it can be all the way through to a very modern car, one of the very new cars. It's it really spans all eras. The this classic car scene, every era has different interests, different buyers. The 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 80s phenomenon, as people call it, is 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 fascinating and is really interesting. So so you get a lot of people that uh, that are now you know grown up if you like and that had these cars from the 80s on their posters in their in, in the rooms you know like a Ferrari Testarossa or a BMW M1 and and the cars that they would dream of a, a Lamborghini Countach you know as a child I remember thinking the Countach was the coolest car uh, ever and so now you know you couldn't afford it back then but now people these guys have a job there's there's they're successful and now they have the means to be able to uh, to buy that childhood dream well, you know, the, the modern generation of supercars, sort of the, the wedge-shaped era of supercars, started with the Lamborghini Countach uh, show car, which was unveiled, I think, in 1971. Um, and, and the design of that original Lamborghini Countach sort of uh, became the prototype um, or the archetype for, for all, uh, all of the supercars that have followed really up until um, the present day. Cars of the 80s, we've seen a great increase in, in price. And there it's simple economics, it's supply and demand. You know, there is only so many cars, so many Lamborghini Countaches, there's, there's only so many. And as they've grown in popularity, there's more people that want to buy them. Uh, the 25th anniversary Countach, to give an example, I remember three, four years ago, uh, when you'd be lucky to get 125, 150 grand for one. And, you know, all of a sudden they're 350, 400 thousand dollar cars. <laughs> You know, all of a sudden they're three hundred fifty, four hundred thousand dollar cars. Um, you know, so they have um, they have gone up in value by a, a multiple of what they traded for. Um, you know, just a few short years ago. So the '80s cars, I think, is 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 I can see is attracting sort of new collectors, new people that come to the car market. It's a great sort of starting point for someone that wants to uh, get into into classic cars, and and it's a bit younger. Uh, a younger clientele. So, so the guys that you know in the 80s were, let's say, teenagers. Those are sort of the ones that are buying most of those uh, those 80s cars because they they can they can they can remember them.